County Clare people, it seems, like to get to the bottom of things, especially the sea. John Philip Holland from Lis Canner was the father of the American submarine, and now James Tierney from Cora Finn, the father of ten children, has decided to make a do-it-yourself voyage to the bottom of the sea. Or to be more immediate and perhaps less ambitious, to the bottom of Lake Inchiquin near his home for he has built a homemade one-man submarine and plans to take her below once sea trials are completed. Mind you, not everyone would accompany the 37 years old garage owner, even if there was room, which there isn't anyway. But this submarine is made of four strong steel barrels, powered by a 24 volt battery and a starter motor from a bus. It is not fully completed. Tanks which will control the diving have yet to be fitted to each side, but in theory, they work. So far, in fact, all systems are go. Though in this technological age, Mr. Tierney's 11-foot light grey submarine looks like an amphibious dustbin. Mr. Tierney, have you got any idea of what's going to happen once you go underwater? It's balanced perfect over water. Naturally, it's going to be balanced perfect underwater. I should have thought that buoyancy and balancing were experts' jobs. Now, as a non-expert, how have you made yourself so familiar with these problems? Well, I first started at home with my s in the kitchen sink with a flask, an ordinary flask, and uh, added pieces of lead to the bottom of it, strapped it onto it, tape, and started from there on with measurements and weight and worked it out to that scale, as you can see. And your, your idea is that what, what's okay for the kitchen sink is okay for the lake? Yes. If you'll forgive my pessimism, let's take this now from the worst possible angle. What happens if something goes wrong? C can you get out of the submarine? Yes, I certainly can. I have a hatch door fitted on it, um, safety valves, and I have a little transmitter, which I built myself, and I will be in communication with the land. If anything do go wrong, I have enough oxygen to keep me down there for at least an hour and a half. I know this submarine does have transmitters, but does it have any other equipment? I have to fit two balanced tanks on the side of her, an extra motor to pump water into those tanks and pump it back out again when I went to surface. Mr. Tierney, what's really the point of this? How does a garage owner suddenly become a submarine builder? Well, I was always anxious to build something. I did build a small aeroplane once, a few years ago, and uh, I was stopped by our local priest and sergeant. So they suggested building a speed a speedboat. From there on, I just thought of this little submarine. When do you think you'll be ready to launch this sub? 
or next spring, I hope. Behind every successful man, there's a woman's encouragement, they say. And Mary Tierney fully backs her husband. I think it's marvellous. A lot of people talk of doing those things, but they never seem to finish them or try to do them. But will you worry about him? No, I will not worry. Because uh, he's a good swimmer, and he, I know that if he gets into difficulties underwater, he'll eventually be able to come up himself. Well, what about you? Would you go down in the submarine? I would. I'd love to, if I could swim. We all live in 